Hi, this is Mr. Adams from Middlewood High School, and this is a video on elements, compounds, and mixtures. Um, by definition, um, elements are made up of only one type of atom, okay, and um, they cannot be broken down into simple substances by normal chemical means. So if you have one type of atom, you have an element on your hands. Um, if you get what elements are, simply check your periodic tables and all the guys listed on table S, they are all elements. Okay. Um, compounds, on the other hand, okay, um, consists of two or more different atoms, two or more different elements, and they're chemically combined in a definite ratio. So, for example, if I say to you H2, that will be an element, but if I say to you H2O, you have two different things chemically combined, that's a compound. And compounds can be decomposed, they can be broken down into simpler substances. Okay, it's an important definition and the way of distinguishing between elements and compounds. Now we have the other guy, which is called mixtures. Now mixtures have two more different substances together, right? But the important thing is they are not chemically bonded. Okay, for example, if you have a salad, for example, S-A-L-A-D, right? Um, each individual component holds on to its identity, but they're just mixed together. Another famous example is salt water. It's a famous mixture. Okay, they, they, each thing has its own identity, but they're just mixed together, but they're not chemically combined. Um, if we were to look at this diagram um, of these um, eight, to circles to our left, and we have to identify whether they're elements, compounds, or mixtures. So what we're going to do, we're going to um, pause the video really quick and see if we can identify them. Okay, um, the first one looks like an element, right? Because it only has one type of atom. Now you can be asked on the test, right, to identify elements, compounds, and mixtures based on pictures or based on chemical formulas, but both of them are pretty simple once you've studied the um, definitions, okay? And over here, we have one type of atom again for C, that's also a element. Now, if you look at B carefully, right, you see that um, this guy right here, right, that's a compound, and this is another different compound. So B would be a M word, B would be a mixture. Okay, and moving on. And D, we see one type of atom, one type of color, so that's going to be a element also for us. On E, we see two different types of atoms, but they're not kind of combined, so that's going to be a mixture. Okay, over here for F, that will also be a mixture. Okay, now that will, for F, you see a mixture of elements right there, right? Okay, for B, you see a mixture of compounds. All right, for G, we see three different sets of the same molecule, so we know that's simply a compound because it's one type of um, one type of set of molecules which are chemical combined in a, in, a, in, a, in a specific ratio. So that's a compound. And last but not least is H, and H would be a mixture. So you can be asked questions like that, folks. Okay, now um, when I say Okay, in terms of compounds being broken down, right? Compounds can be broken down chemically, right? But it cannot be broken down physically. And to wrap up, um, remember, we have to remember these guys, distillation, filtration, and chromatography. They separate things by physical means. And what do we mean by physical means? We simply mean that each thing, once again, holds on to its identity and there's no change or chemical reaction taking place. Remember, distillation, um, separates things by the difference in their boiling point. Okay, so the guy with a lower boiling point comes over first. For example, if you have salt water, okay, NaCl aqueous, AQ standing for something dissolved in water, so that's a mixture. NaCl is a compound dissolved in water. All right, so you can separate salt water by using the distillation process. Okay, so the water comes over and the salt gets left on this side over here. All right, um, for filtration, it separates based on the difference in size. Okay, another physical um, separation process. The sand will be sand and the water will be water. Okay, the water particles are able to pass through the filter, but the sand gets trapped in the um, filter cup. All right, and uh, chromatography is pretty unique, right? Because that separates 
normally by difference in the polarities or the attraction of the substances. So sub-substances, uh, remember like dissolves like, they get dissolved in water, they get carried up the column of the paper, and sub-substances which are nonpolar, they tend to stick um, to the nonpolar paper at the lower extremities. And you, there you have it. As always, folks, hard work plus sacrifice equals success. This is a brief video on elements, compounds, and mixtures. Know your definitions. Know and be able to recognize them and uh, do well.